Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Ultima 9 Ascension. In our last video, the Avatars started exploring the city of Britain. He met with the baker, made some bread of his own, uh, spoke with a mage who explained some, uh, gave us some plot exposition about things being weird with magic and moon gates and a missing mage. And then we went and uh, poked our noses in places maybe we shouldn't have in the Cathedral of Love, where we found that the silver serpent that these people keep locked up and uh, milk it for its venom, uh, that, that serpent has gone missing and hasn't returned, even though it has the capability to magically return itself. Gee. <laughs> Yeah, you just, you just hum that, ma'am. You just hum that. Let's keep exploring. We're doing a sweep of uh, kind of east, or west to east, rather. So our next stop is this uh, kind of town square looking area. Hello, friend. Hello, friend. Hi. Strict enforcement of my policy, we can guarantee a high standard of living for all. In order to be truly kind, we must allow the weak to be with their own kind. Once we have removed them from our streets, we can send them the help that they need. But we cannot help them if they remain here and strangle the life from our great city. Hear, hear! To render aid to those who refuse to help themselves is neither wise nor compassionate, but rather foolish and treasonous. Yes, Lord British may disapprove, but we will stand firm in our resolve. Magnificent speech. Magnificent indeed. A grand speaker he is. Inspirational. <laughs> How very Republican of you, sir. Greetings, my good fellow. Uh, I say, you look most familiar. Ah, uh, wait a moment. You are the Avatar, aren't you? Yes, you are the Avatar. I've seen your face on the tapestry. Welcome to Britain, Avatar. I am Aiden, the mayor. Uh, tell me. How do you like our fair town now that we've gotten rid of the poor wretches who used to fill the streets? The Avatar didn't see it before, so... Everybody else seems to know that, oh, we can't find the Avatar, we can't, we've been looking for you forever, oh no, where is he? And you act like the Avatar's just been, you know, strolling around going, oh, I'm gonna get rid of these poor people and I'd like the place a lot better. <sighs> Um... Tapestry? What tapestry? Why, the Tapestry of Ages! It is a marvel, Avatar, truly a marvel. It is a record of your exploits here in Britannia. You must go and see it. It hangs in the museum. Oh yeah, we'll see that. Uh... Who are these poor wretches you referred to earlier? Why, the weak and the sick and the others that were filling up the streets. We had no choice but to get rid of them. Uh, they were choking the life out of the city. Uh, Paws was the perfect place for them. This isn't new. I mean, Britain was basically doing this back in Ultima 7. So it's kind of... I'm kind of shrugging going like, well, I've seen that before. Does Lord British condone this behavior? Oh, I've heard word from the castle that Lord British doesn't have a high regard for my policy, but he doesn't stay very involved in the governing of the city. Hey, man, if if he's not uh, if he's not stepping up, then I guess it's kind of his own fault. But Britain is the city of compassion. But this is compassionate, Avatar. The way things were before, the poor and sick were overwhelming the city and bringing down its economy. Under my plan, the poor are removed from the city to nearby Paws, which has allowed our economy to recover. The greater wealth generated by the thriving economy allows us to send food and medicine to help the people in Paws. Believe me, my policy is very compassionate. After all, we must think about the children. 
I'm just, I'm not gonna say anything because I'm just gonna let my earlier comment stand. <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything. Why do you send them to Paws? Well, Paws is close to Britain, so we can easily send food, uh, medicine, and, and other help without having them here in the city. Alright. Well, I think that's all we're going to get out of him right now. We might have missed one thing, so I'll speak with him again. Farewell, Aiden. Go bravely, Avatar, and know that you are always welcome in Britain. <laughs> Greetings, Avatar. How are you today? Yeah, these dialogue trees. Wow. Wait, what? This is. Oh, Killigan was was the guy in his house. Okay. How come I couldn't say any of this the first time? These dialogue trees drive me nuts. I mean, just this is going to be a, a recurring thing, I'm sure. But I, it just makes me miss Ultima Seven's simplicity of the more you know the more things you can ask, and you can ask these things from pretty much any uh, response that the NPC has given you. So he could have just said anything, and I could be like, job! And ask about that again if I felt like it. You're just full of information, aren't you? What do you know about the columns? Uh, only that they sprung from the ground some time ago, and that they leave a dreadful amount of scarring behind them. Where'd all my... Ugh, where'd my options go? I'm in need of supplies. Where might I go? Well, let's see. We have all kinds of merchants here in Britain. Uh, we have an outfitter, a boyer, a smith, and, uh, well, um, all manner of things. I recommend that you just explore the city a bit. It's a fine place to stroll, uh, now that the streets have been cleared up. Okay. Hmm. Well, what about... What would this do? Very well, Mayor. May I ask for your help? Well, of course, Avatar. What may I help you with? Are we back at the big... Yeah, we're not. I'm going to have to keep doing this. Farewell, Aiden. Go bravely, Avatar. And Yes, yes, yes. Come here. Greetings, Avatar. Quit trying to get away from me. I have questions. Your assistant, Killigan, doesn't seem to care for the poor. Oh, but of course he does. Uh, Killigan is a very passionate man and sometimes comes across too harshly. You're not the first person to come to me with such concerns, Avatar, but I'm sure that Killigan's heart is in the right place. Killigan was a jerk, man. But okay. I met your daughter. She's a wonderful girl, isn't she? She's my pride and joy. She seemed to have a cough. Uh, oh, that's nothing. Uh, she gets a scratchy throat now and then, that's all. Mm -hmm. Farewell, Aiden. Go bravely, Avatar, and know that you are always welcome in Britain. Indeed. Yes, until I get, uh... Until I get sick and need health care, am I right? Yes, uh... You may simply die is not a healthcare policy. I just want to... Look at what you just did! Did you not see that pile of dirt? You just kicked and spread it all over! Uh, uh, huh? Okay, I'm afraid. I don't know if I want to try to speak with this woman. What? Look at what you just did! You just... Again? How inspiring! Isn't the mayor a wise and goodly man? I'm telling you, he's one of the decent people in this city. What is your name, my lady? Oh, I'm sorry. My name is Marjorie. I'm a street sweeper here in Britain. Why do these people all have such strongly different accents. I mean, some of them are just American. <laughs> some of them seem to be Cockney. <laughs> uh, I think we met a Scottish fella earlier. I mean, what, what is going on here? <laughs> Why is the mayor wise and goodly? <laughs> You're obviously not from around here, are you? 
The mayor saved the city by getting rid of all the freeloaders and the invalids. Okay. Goodbye. Hmm. Oh, yes. Goodbye. Nice meeting you. What? <laughs> so weird. Uh, okay, well, what's this? Looks like a jeweler or something like that. Welcome to my humble shop. Hi there. Welcome. My name is Cameron, and as you can see, I buy and sell gems and other jewelry. Also, if you ever need to have a gem cut, I am the man to talk to. So, what can I do for you? Well, sir, I have some gems that you may be interested in. I do. Ooh, yes, I do. Oh my goodness, look at that. I was impressed by the amethyst, but then oh, emerald necklace. 400 gold. The avatar is making bank. 570 just from stuff we've nicked. Actually, I don't think we stole that copper neck, did we? Where did I get that? I don't think we stole it. I don't recall. The other things, yes, we stole. Anything else I can do for you? No. Nothing today, friend. Farewell. Farewell, then. Nice. He's got some goodies here that we have no interest in whatsoever. What's in here? I would take that if he weren't standing right there. So that's not going to happen. No books that we can read. What's in all? Uh, nothing. Can't open those. He's got serpent wine. Nope, nope, that's just wine, actually. Oh, I... From over here, I thought that was a serpent. Insignia. Sorry. Are you wearing everything you own right now? What's in here? Oh, cool. Just 19. Well, ours now. Who's coughing? You're not supposed to cough in Britain. You get carted off. I'm not going to jump. You get hurt for doing that. <laughs> How did you do that? <laughs> How did you do that? Saw a couple of folks over here. No, enough is enough. That milk-livered brother of mine and his strumpet of a wife have knocked at my door for the last time. They will not be allowed in for another meal, no matter how hungry they are. But husband, you used to love your brother, and now he is a sick man. I love him no more. He is an elated maggot pie. Your brother cared for you when you were sick, gave you food when you were hungry. Oh, stop it with that rubbish. I owe him nothing. The mayor has made me see that it is a sink or swim world out there. And if me brother sinks, so be it. All this coldness came about when those horrible columns appeared, and Lord British hasn't done a thing about them. Lord British? Ha! He knows nothing of his people. He sits up there in his ivory tower. So, you know, this, this lady just called you on your peculiar behavior and blamed the columns but instead of going, oh my gosh, or, oh my gosh, I must be being manipulated, you just shrugged it off. I mean, all right, fine. Let's, uh, let's <coughs> inter... <clears throat> let's, uh, let's interfere. What do you want? Oh, apparently nothing. How about you? Hello there. I'm sorry, but my husband's in a bit of a state. Yeah, he is. And that's all there is to that. Okay. And uh, over here we have 
This is so peculiar. I mean, does the gem cutter just own... Why are you working his land? Greetings! Say, uh, do you think it looks like rain? I was considering washing my ox cart this afternoon. <laughs> oh, well, no matter. It will surely rain right after I wash it. <laughs> oh, well, good day to you. Hail to thee. Ah. Uh, <laughs> and we are back where we came in. Actually, just did a little, little circuit there. Okay. Let's see. It looks like the next stop here would be that very large building just to the southeast of where we are right now. But that's a big one. You can see out to the side uh, the, the text. It is labeled as The Museum. And that one could take a little longer to go through. So we're going to do that later. Right now, we will just pretend that we did. We'll say we did and... It, and yet we didn't. Whatever. Uh, let's let's head to the far southeast of where we are. West, southwest, southwest. Sorry, southwest. And kind of resume our uh, kind of scan line kind of exploration. That sounds noisy. If I recall, there was a rodent of unusual size in here that we ignored. Can we read these? Yes! Here lies Jennifer, our beloved bringer of donuts, lost but not forgotten. Beneath lies the body of Scotty Jones. Six feet under, you'll find his bones. I see a red potion. We're going to take it and put it on the tool belt because we are running out of inventory space. We will remedy that. Actually, wait a minute. We sold some stuff. Yeah, we did. So we have a little bit of inventory space. I'm going to end you right now. Fall on the goal. Thank you. Have that. Okay, let's keep reading. Is there something else? Uh, no? Whatever, if we see something, we'll, uh, we'll kill it. Let's read more of these. Here lies... What the... Whoa! Um... Can I get you with stones? Yes. Yes, I can. I was a little nervous there. <laughs> drop something I can take. No, these are... This is just a pile of bones. I saw you had a sword on you, sir. Why can't I have that? Okay, so we need to be cautious here because apparently uh, we have a little undead situation. In fact, I'm going to save because... Ugh. I guess I could just save everything and look, make it look like a two-year-old typed it, but... Anyway... Wait, did that bring up another one? It's just that noise is... Oh, there's a rat up there. We'll go there in a moment. We'll deal with that. We're gonna finish reading these, though. Here lies... Dinah? Dumped in a grave, an innocent girl who refused to behave. Here is the plot of our friend Scott. He guessed it was a pig he bought. That's no pig, it's far too big. And it has fangs, was his last thought. Uh-oh. What have we done? 
I should probably try to pull out Lucille, but I don't really feel like messing with that right now, so... Oh. And the Avatar has uh, fallen. And that is why we... Uh... <laughs> That's why we save. I am curious, though, if I were to use the uh, club instead. Does it make a difference or is the avatar just that horrible? Come on. Come on. The avatar is just that horrible right now. He really needs training. We'll have to go pick up training from the uh, fellow in... Uh, Lord British's castle. We'll try that one more time by lobbing stones at it. Could it, could it work the other time? Get some distance. And there you have it. That's very silly. Is that your sword or is that a leg? Is this a femur? It's, yes, that, that's a femur. Why can't I, uh, I wish I could take something of value off of that, but uh, cannot. Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. No. Okay. Tell you what, since we don't get experience, I'm gonna leave that one there because we've. I, I feel that we have sufficiently explored it. <laughs> and apparently, when you kill a skeleton, you, you need to pull it apart. That's that's good to know. Here lieth the body of Sir Rand. He fed on the fat of a lamb. Slipping on its biscuit, his head doth twisted. Now only the worms will kiss it. All right. Bill worked too hard. Now he's resting in the yard. Yes, do not overwork yourself. Cautionary tale. Here lies Amy, or maybe she lies somewhere else. She could never make up her mind on anything. Why is it so drafty over here? Wait, isn't... Oh. I just read that one, apparently. Whoops. Whoops. Here lies Gary, who choked on Canary. This one looks fresh. Here lies... one might also bring up a skeleton. I don't know. Mitch got PK'd. <laughs> Does anybody really say PK anymore? I mean, a while back that meant player killed. It was a player killing another player. But I don't know if that's still a thing. Ooh, what's in here? And how can I access it? I'm, I'm assuming it's locked. I don't know why I assume that. Can you get up there? It's not... Oh, that was horrible. Oh, my ear. Ah. Oh, why would you do that? Ah. Oh, okay, sorry. Wow. Wow. I may actually try to lower the volume of that in post-production because... I wouldn't want to subject anybody to that. That was horrible. I'm wearing headphones and that just blew out my right ear. <sighs> That's not creepy. All right, did these say anything? Here lies Carly, the information minister who died under circumstances sinister. Here lies Matthew Crump, went dragon hunting a man, came back a stump, I see. And we cannot read that one because it is ruined, as is this one. 
Rest in peace. Here lies Jim, stuffed into a bin. Uh, we have some reagents here, in fact. Blood moss. I'm just putting on the belt because <laughs> silk. Yeah, we're going to have to... We'll have to deal with the inventory shortly. And is that a staff? That is a gnarled staff. And we do have room to take it. Nope. Nope. That's that's not it. <sighs> that is. I get the impression that maybe if we had fought that skeleton with a gnarled staff, it might have been a little uh, different outcome. In fact, maybe we'll test that right now. Why not? Why not? We were told that, uh, that that changes things. Take that. Oh, wow. That does change things. So we are going to be carrying multiple weapons, it looks like. Four hits. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to pull you apart. Eh. Spread them bones. No reforming. Oops, I missed. That should be sufficient, right? We pulled it apart. That should do. That was not good enough. Okay, these are going to have to go on the tool belt so I can quickly alternate between weapons. One, two, three, four. Okay. Getting the hang of that. But seriously, can we can we not? I mean, what if I what if I take that one piece in particular and just all the way over there? How about that? Not good enough. Come on, man. How did what? You took another one? Ugh, that was three hits, I think. All right, this is getting out of hand. I'm taking your body parts. In fact, okay, there was one. I'm going to take this rib cage, two. Yes, they're both in my pack. Thou shalt not reform. Jeez. But obviously, I don't wish to keep them, so... Somebody's trying to tell me something. Okay, Squeaks. Okay. Look, it's all good. Don't worry. I took care of it. No more skeleton. Put this back on. But yeah, we need to... Probably put this... Here. Because... Yeah, we're going to be switching to it a lot. Looks like. So if we're fighting undead, we need to keep inventory space free so that we can, uh... Another graveyard? Okay. Oh, wow, that's just full of rats. We'll go there in a moment. What's in here? Creaky floors. This place is nice. There. What's this? A rag. Ooh, what is that? A burnt scroll. I can't do anything with it. And I cannot light that brazier. Which, of course, means that we are stuck again. Fixed. We get to listen to the combat music because... Is it every time I walk on the door? It is. Okay. Alright, I got it. I got it. Okay, okay. Or every step. Oh, good. And I'll just take that roll of quarters. Thank you. Five gold. Ooh, what is this? Lightning bolt. I think we have that. And we've stored it back in our room at Lord British's place. But we'll take it anyway. 
because uh, it's the early stages of the game, and that means hoard everything. What's this? Rotten cabbage. What's this? A rag. Nice place. Ooh. This place has caved in. What's that? Green potion? Nah, you can keep that. Not interested. What's in here? A little... Oh, clean bandages. I don't know if those are something that we can use, but... I would imagine so. We have no inventory space. We have to deal with that. We have to deal with that. 14 coins? Cool. All right, well, let's let's get out of here. I think we're done here. Yes, squeak, squeak, squeak. Uh, let's solve the music here. That's a hanging dead horse over there. Why would you do that? I believe there was another one. I don't know where it is, but I think there's another one. But we'll take that gold. Where's the other one? Oh, it's over there? Oh, there are two of them. Uh-oh. Solved. Oh, we're near... Well, we're not near pause, but uh, we appear to have found the way there. We are the far southwest of Britain. We are not going to go to pause right now. But we will loot... Uh-oh. Well, I don't think we're getting the gold from that one. I mean, I suppose it's always possible that he hadn't swallowed any, but... Oh well. Okay, there was there was that woman that complained that there aren't any horses earlier. This kind of thing doesn't help. Okay. And I guess we could read uh, read what's in here. I am going to prepare the staff. I have learned. Mao. Raffle? Ah. Raffle Mao. Yes, R F R O F L M A O rolling on the floor. Laughing my ass off. Very droll. A red potion, although I think I don't think we can take this. Nope. This is inventory. It is full. Okay, I see where this is going. Lol. Here lies Squire Bonner. His shirt is clean and new. Buried straight and proper. His shirt was still askew. Here lies Dave, quite the knave. A practical joke sent him to the grave. Rest in peace. Okay. Is this just a pile of dirt or a stone? No, it's a stone. One last bone I want to pick. It was this grave that made me sick. Bob, what was that? <laughs> oh, what, is this? what does this say? We buried Kay on a rainy day. Sad to say, she washed away. Rest in peace wherever you are. <laughs> yes, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Very appropriate. Behold Brian's last plot. I see. Here lies Janna in her time of dying. Hear the rustin or rustlin rivers call and the wind is crying. Okay. Rest in peace. Guild of craft, scaled of old, a winter, a winter draft, lay Michael cold. Strange, uh, 
style. I tried to read it. And, uh, yeah, this would be the outskirts again? Uh, yeah, I mean, we're, we're still southwest Britain. Well, before we end this video, let's head back to Lord British's place. Does this open? Nope, those are just some really awkward little... <sighs> Alright. We're gonna go deal with the inventory. It's gotta happen. Action hero avatar slides down hills. So Britain's not a terribly big place. I actually think it might be kind of one of the biggest towns in the game. Which is kind of like, uh-oh. Because <laughs> it's pretty small. But that's okay. And we're not done exploring it yet. So it does take some time to see everything, speak with everyone, and get into a lot of trouble. Back to Castle British. To hoard stuff. Hello, citizen. Hello. Good day, sir. Hi. Does this work again? No. Man, we really... We really messed that up. Now, who was it that could train? Because we've got some money, and I think it's time to get some training, because we are awful. What brings you into the weapons house? Do you train? I've come to arm myself. I mean, we've already had this converse... Uh, yeah, sure. I'm a friend. Lord Br Wait a minute, you're the... Say. We had this... I don't we had this conversation already. No thanks, I'm... All right then, good luck to you. So I suppose it was this fellow, Olsen, who does the training, right? Hello, Avatar. I hope that all is well. Keep up the good work. Oh dear, okay. Um, so it was Peppermint Man. What brings you into the weapons house? Um... I'm the Avatar, and I've come to arm myself. So you are. Lord British sent word that you are here and said that you're welcome to whatever you want. Say. I don't want to speak out of turn, you being the av- Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, but we would like training. Yeah, I'd like to hear some tips. All right then, would you like to hear about training, weapons, or armor? Training. Tell me about training. It's very important that you seek out as many trainers as you can. Various trainers can teach you various styles of fighting. The more styles that you learn, the better off you'll be. Just remember, there's always someone better out there. Now, I'm a master swordsman and can train you a bit if you'd like. The cost is 300 gold pieces. And you saw how terrible <laughs> the avatar was. Granted, it was against a skeleton, which is apparently, you know, anti-sword. But, uh, yeah, we, we, need, we need training. Yes, I'd like for you to train me. All right. You know, the thrust is a good move, but it's limited. Let me show you what I call the hammer shot. And the Avatar passed out. Well done. You're a natural, you know that? Well, it was good working with you, but I've got to get back to my job. Farewell. Was that not kind of part of your job? Yes, you go ahead and organize those decorative weapons and these couple of daggers on the, the shelf here, sir. It's... I'm going to... Cont I'm going to put this back because... It looks cooler. So the Avatar has received some training in swordsmanship. Hello, citizen. Hi there. I imagine that this will help at least a little. 300 gold is a lot to spend. All right, we're back. Home sweet home. Um... This is going to get out of hand real quick. Oh, wait, these don't open, do they? Nope. I guess everything's just going to go in the Amor then. <sighs> All right, well, Ethereal Sight, we're going to leave this here because I want to bind it. 
I think, you know, I'm just going to... I think I'm going to leave all the scrolls here because I, I don't want single-use scrolls. I really want to cast them as I can, like from the spellbook. I want to bind them and just use them in, from the spellbook. We've got some reagents here. This is... Uh, oh, I didn't explain. That is... Oh, that may not be a reagent. I think it is. I think this is spider silk, which is a reagent. I hope so. Otherwise, this is just stupid. And, um... Blood moss. I mean, given that it was paired with some blood moss in that tomb, I'm thinking they're, it's a reagent, but... I don't know how... how that works, but... Okay. Cursor. Ah, the cursor will not... Got stuck behind the bag. <laughs> White potions for infernal armor. As cool as that sounds... I'm going to leave those here. I'm also going to leave some of these red potions here. It's great to cure poison and all, but... Oh, come on. But uh, that seems a little excessive. Uh, I d oh, no. Well, there you go. Just had a red potion. We have too many anyway. Yes, I uh, accidentally let go of the mouse, I guess, before I was ready. So that happened. Pretty cool. Got a bandage there. I don't know if they... They don't stack, so that's not cool. Seems like nothing stacks. We'll just leave them here. And you know what? I, I don't actually know if we can do anything with these oil flasks. I don't know if we can chuck them at people or what. Now would be a good time to find that out. Oil. How does this work? Uh-oh. I don't think it does anything. I don't think they do anything. They... They don't. Not that I can see. So... They have no use, and they are just taking up inventory space. They look cool. There we go. The Avatar Interior Decorator. Uh, got some bread here. Can use for some health. And the stick. And the club. Okay, that's a little better. It's a little better. The Avatar really does need a quick nap. To end this, uh... Okay. I want to see if we can get health back by resting, or... You know, I just, I don't know if that works. I think it just passes time, because that health bar is not moving. You know, in old games, you used to be able to ask Lord British for healing. Oh! There it is. There it is. Okay. I don't know why it's a like a sitar or whatever that instrument was. It's very Eastern, which is cool, but a little misplaced, perhaps. But okay, that's good. That is very good. Glad to see that. Well. Hello, citizen. Hello. All right. The avatar has uh, stowed his stuff gotten some rest and is uh, ready to slip on the fountain and continue ex hey, hi there and continue ex you're gonna say hi too aren't you Hello, hi all right we'll continue exploring Britain in the next video thanks for watching and I'll see you then